Hey, welcome to Lessons from the Boot. I'm your host, Ms. Brittley, and every week I dive deep into the personal growth and development that living here in South Italy teaches me in the hope that you can gain some inspiration from it wherever you may be in the world. There's something really special about waking up so early that the only thing you can hear are the birds tweeting and the roads are still and it just feels like the world hasn't quite woken up yet. I've become a real early bird since moving to South Italy and in particular since moving to Palermo because now every day I will wake up religiously between anywhere between 5.30 in the morning and 6am. Even on a Sunday, my body is kind of conditioned to wake up early. I mean, for me, a laying is like 7am on a Sunday. And for many people, this kind of idea horrifies them. Like waking up so early, you know, being in bed feels like the best feeling in the world. Who needs to wake up at like five or six in the morning? But if you aren't an early bird, this podcast episode is designed to inspire you a little bit to give it a go because I've honestly never felt better since waking up at this time. And I've kind of always been a bit of an early bird, even when I lived in the UK and whether it be for work or whatever reason it may be, I used to always be up early. But really, it was since moving to South Italy that it became a bit more of a routine. When I used to work in Naples and I used to live in Salerno, I used to wake up at 4am every day because I used to have to leave the house at like 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning to get the train to work. And so that was difficult. I'm not going to lie. I found that period of my life, nearly two years, very, very difficult um, because being at work all day, coming back, I was literally destroyed by like eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night. But the routine I have now is something that has become a lot more manageable, primarily because I'm waking up at like half past five, six o'clock, and I'm actually devising a routine that works with my energy at that time of the morning and makes me feel really accomplished before I've even stepped one foot out of the door. And this is something that for me personally means that I will never go back to being somebody who stays in bed for hours at a time in the morning and doesn't want to get up. There is a real magic in the early part of the morning and every morning I watch the sunrise from my kind of studio office space at home and it is beautiful, it is magnificent, it is spectacular because every day the sunrise is slightly different to the day before and it just fills me with so much energy and it's a wonderful reminder that every day is a fresh start and I think sometimes when we wake up later and we tend to wake up in a bit of a rush, in a bit of a hurry, we've got a mission, we've got to be somewhere at a certain time, we don't have a lot of time to get ready, we fail to see those moments And I feel like you start your day in a blind panic and as such, it feels like you're constantly chasing your tail all day and you haven't been able to really ground yourself into the moment which is now. And so I feel there are so many benefits to having an early morning routine and it also means that if you don't have a lot of time, because this is the biggest thing that I hear people say, especially here in Italy, especially when it comes to them wanting to follow a dream or wanting to learn a language or whatever it may be, the most commonly used reason for not being able to do the thing that people really want to do is that they don't have enough time. But really, I guess the best response to that is, well, how do you use the time that you currently have? Because I don't think sometimes we're really aware of just how we use the many minutes and hours that we have in our day. We tend to get into routines and habits and patterns of behaviour that mean that we don't really recognise or aren't fully kind of present when we are carrying out our day-to-day actions. If you were to wake up a little bit earlier though, you have immediately created that space to give you the extra 30 minutes that you said you didn't have or to give you the extra 15 minutes that you can spend working on something. Because I've always said it, it's more about consistency than it is about the actual time that you spend on something. 
If you can only commit to 15 minutes a day to learning the language or to dedicating it to your hobby, if you do that every single day, you achieve a lot more than somebody who does one hour one day and then waits another two weeks before they do their second hour. So I really do feel consistency is the most important thing. And so it doesn't really matter how long you can dedicate towards the thing that you want to do. It's just important that you do it every day or on a very regular basis. And waking up early gives you the possibility to do that. And I feel like there is a wonderful energy in the very early hours of the morning that you just do not feel at any other time of the day. Depending on where you live in the world, if you live in a busy city like I do here in Palermo, the minute you open your eyes and you step out of your house, you are in this crazy whirlwind of chaos. There are cars beeping, there are people rushing around, it just feels really manic. And, you know, even in the city that I come from, London, it's exactly the same. So this kind of peace that you feel when it's so early is something really magical because you don't really feel this again until really late at night. So I want to encourage you, hopefully with this episode, to explore the concept of waking up earlier in the morning and becoming a bit of an early bird, because I really do believe it will change your life. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube that tell you the power of waking up at 5 a.m., what it can do for you. For some people it works, for some people it doesn't. I've always believed that everybody is unique. And so one kind of technique or pattern of behavior is not going to work for everyone. But I do believe that this is definitely something worth trying um, and experimenting with. And just to see how it makes you feel, especially as we enter kind of the spring and summer season when the mornings are generally become a little bit lighter and there is more of an energy in the air. I think in the winter, it's more difficult to wake up early because it's cold outside and you don't want to leave your bed. But certainly in the spring and summer, it becomes a little bit easier and more natural to wake up slightly earlier than normal. So I hope that this episode can inspire you to give it a go. Set yourself a goal, think about something that you really want to achieve and see if waking up that little bit earlier helps you to do it. I will see you in the next episode.